Hey, this is Seth Levari from LinkedInRef.com and it's time for another viewer request. In this lesson, we're going to learn a computer game theme, a very interesting theme. It's called More Gun, the engineer's theme from Team Fortress 2. And it's a very interesting lesson uh, for me as well because I don't usually use a pick. Um, if you're following my lessons, then uh, you know that I usually play fingerstyle. So this is gonna be very, very interesting. This theme is great. It's, um, it's a chord progression in country folk rhythm um, that utilizes connecting bass lines between the chords. Now, it begins as a very cliche, very traditional uh, country blues riff, A, D, and E, with connecting bass lines, and even the bass lines are cliche, but then, after one round of uh, the blues riff, uh, it turns into A minor instead of uh, A. It changes into A minor and then all hell breaks loose and then it becomes really interesting because it's a nice chord progression with very interesting connecting bass lines. This is a little challenging and it's very nice and it's very fun. It's very much fun to play this. And uh, first, let me demonstrate it and show you how it goes and then we're gonna break it down lick by lick with tabs and everything. So it goes like this. So this is very, very nice. Um, okay, what you need to know is the following rhythm pattern. Let's start with A. You play the bass note of the chord, and then you play this. Okay, it's one, three and four and one, three and four and one, three and four and one. Okay, now this is your basic rhythm. And what we're going to concentrate on is the bass movement, the bass lines. So you begin with this. Okay, it's just on E, on the E bass, it's open E, 
two, and four. And then you play A. Okay, now you change from the A bass to the E bass. So A, E, A. Okay, that's your first riff. Okay, but this time, bar the A, because you need this. Okay, this is your next bass line. So it's A, and then two hammer on to four on the D string, and play two again. And then A again. Okay, so... Yeah, you can insert a strum between these notes. Okay, but it doesn't fit. The original is just... Okay, and then you play this again. Okay, two, and two to four, two again, and then four on the A string. And then it's D, and the D is with D bass, A bass, D bass. Okay, now uh, there's a pretty strum um, on the D, and it goes like this. D, A, D. Okay, and then again. D, A, pretty strum, and then on the G string it's 2 to 4, and then 2, just the same as before, and then 4 on D, okay? It's the same lick as before, only down one string, before you played, and this time it's... And then it's A, and you begin with the D string. A, D. Okay, it's D, A, D this time. So it's A over E, A, A over E again, because this is an E note. So you just play... Okay, and then it's the same line uh, here again. Okay, on D and A, D, 2 to 4, 2, 4 on A, and then E, with E, uh, e string and A string. And the first lick again. A, E, A. Okay, and then, don't worry, I'm going to repeat everything, Just let's just finish this first uh, chord progression. And then it's the same down one string uh, on the A string, 0, 2, 4. And then D again, D, A, pretty strum, A. Okay, and then it's again, just as before, from the G string to the D string, Finishing on A over E. Okay, so it's... This is on G. This is on D. Okay, and you play D string, A string, D string as your bass notes. And then it's this one last time, the original lick. Then all hell breaks loose and you go into A minor. So from the top, uh, O two four A E A again bar two to four two A. Okay, remember this. The lick 
work on D to A. D. Pretty strong. And then on G to D. A over E. And you pick D string, A string, D string. Then from D, same lick from D to A. Ending on E this time. Original lick. Original lick, down one spring into D. Pretty strong. Then this one again into A on G and D into A over E and original lick again. Okay, now we're going to A minor. Uh, the lick into A minor is. 0, 3 on the E bass, 2 on the A bass, and you're in, e mi in A minor. Okay? But the first time around, you also have this. So it's A minor, A minor over C, A minor again. Okay? So 0, 3, 2, A minor. A minor over C, A minor. Again, A minor, E, A minor. Again, A minor over C, A minor. Okay? So first time around it's A minor over C, A minor. Second time around it's A minor over E, A minor. Then again over C. So it's Seven. It's three zero on the A string and two and one on the D string. Okay? Now you want to finish on your first finger and build a B7 upon it without touching the vibrating string. Okay? Don't touch the string. So. Okay? And then into D minor. Uh, the bass line into D minor is 3 on the E string, open A string, 2 on the D string, and then D minor. So it's... Okay, and the bass line, of course, continues into D, A, D. So... D, A, D. And then we're going to G. Don't worry, I'm going to repeat everything slowly. You're going to get it. Uh, I won't finish this lesson before you get it. So, uh, uh, the movement to D is 3 and 0 on the D string. The movement into G, excuse me. Okay, 3 and 0. 2 and 0 on the G string. Okay, and you're in G. And then you're back again into A minor. Then into B7 again. 3, 0, 2, 1 on A string and D strings. And then into D minor. Th uh, 3 on the E string. Open A string. 2, 0 on D minor. And then D, A, D. Okay? Now, last time. It uh, ended on G, and it's gonna end on G twice more. Uh, but this time it it uh, it finishes on E. Okay, just this one time. This one line finishes on E. So you begin as if you're going into G. Three zero on D string, and then two one on the G string. When you go into G, it's two zero. When you go into E. This one time, it's 2-1, okay? And then you build 
A and E chord upon it. You finish with your first finger and you build a E chord upon it without touching the vibrating string. Okay? Just put your fingers above it. So... Okay? And then it's A minor again. A, E, A. And A minor again. A, E, A. And then again with C. A, C, A. Into B7. 3, 0, 2, 1. Then into D minor. 3 on the bass. A, 2, 0 on D. Then into G. 3, 0, 2, 0 on D and G. A minor again. Okay, I believe you got it by now. Uh, B7 again. D minor again. G again. A minor again. Three times. Actually, four times. Okay? We're at the end. Three. Four. And B7. And you're done. So, um, this is great. Um, it's also great uh, a great theme to practice your country chops on because then you can play stuff like this. Okay, you can practice your country chops on and try to make your own uh, little bass line going. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Subscribe to my channel before you go to keep updated with all the lessons. I upload a new lesson every couple of days or so. Go to the website, download the tab so you can learn this even without watching the video. Um, and while you're there, if you want to give something back for this free lesson, then you can click the donation button and give back whatever you want, whatever you choose to donate. I'd be very grateful for any donation whatsoever. If you have any request, send it to me. Uh, you can write me to me at lickandrev.com or just write me uh, via the website or the Facebook page or the YouTube channel. You can send me more requests for lessons. Just go subscribe to the channel and keep updated. Now go get this under your fingers and have fun with this one. It's a very, very nice theme. Um, and I'll see you the next lesson. Thank you very much for watching.